In Zimbabwe, over the past few years, we've seen a huge um, explosion of new medias. So the use of cell phones um, and the use of smartphones is coming in quite a lot. And a lot of our young people are using that to access information. They're being on, you know, on social media, asking on WhatsApp, asking their friends, you know, going onto Facebook and, and getting different information. And so we started thinking and saying, okay, how can we harness these new technologies and use them uh, programmatically to get the information out to young people? We have adolescents living with HIV, we have young people living in the streets, and even young people who are out of school. And this social media uh, uh, component of our program has been very instrumental to engage and reach out to those young people, especially in the peripheral areas there, which are hard to reach. So after they have been selected by the community, that's when we uh, then engage them in the training. Uh, first it was um, a whole a comprehensive adolescent section on reproductive health. Then we had to train them specifically on social media. For some, it was the first time for them to use a smartphone. And, but you know, with young people, they are always eager to learn. They meet once or twice per week. They have some discussions. They choose a certain topic on sexual and productive health. For example, we can have um, an issue of a young person who will be abused by the parents that they will be living with. So we can have that issue posted on Facebook to say, how as young people can we help this young person? Per se, we have a certain issue regarding family planning or contraceptive use. We will invite an expert from the Zimbabwe National Family Planning Council, which is also a partner within the Safeguarding Young People here in Zimbabwe. With the access to information, knowing the dangers of indulging, they may probably uh, delay in indulging in sexual intercourse. There is also likelihood of reduction in what? In unplanned pregnancies, in abortions, and uh, STIs. Topics which are posted on the, our Facebook page, Young People's Network Get Engaged, uh, abortion, about condoms, about uh, teenage pregnancy, about um, gender-based violence. This is more motivating to young people. They want to know they, everything. And they can comment when a uh, topic is posted. You can encourage them to comment this just to put your view and it can help a lot of people. We get to know how are we going to manage our own life? We going to know how, if I take this decision, what is it going to give me? In the rural areas, network is not always available everywhere. But our young people have been very innovative. You know, they go around, I can imagine them with a tablet going, you know, looking for where the network is available, but they do find the places. And that's where they meet with their young people and they do their discussions. A youth without a mission is a youth without a vision. So get up, educate, don't discriminate.